this is this first experience of my first picture where this little kid comes to me and he's like ye to amir khan film mein hai na ye bhaiya mere sath ek photo khichao na it's like taken a bath for 10 minutes and i didn't talk to anyone for an hour i mean it i didn't talk to anyone i sat in my van and i was like i'm not coming out of this thing developing this love for your work it doesn't matter what time you have to wake up you you have to be brilliant in what you're doing and for that you have to love your work so i feel if you love your work it doesn't matter no matter what comes up the difficulties everything else is just you have to do it not, not that i'm saying that you, i have to do it it's there is an instruction doesn't matter whether you like it or not but you you eventually you end up falling in love with your work just snap chatting all day Agni, I'm looking. Thanks. Yeah, I'm also. Thanks. Um, what is the question? <laughs> the question is what inspires you? Snapchat distracted. What what inspires you to go beyond the Snapchat story? Nothing really inspires me. I mean, I really want to get out of social media, but uh, but I don't know. Nothing really inspires me. I'm so boring in life. Nothing inspires me at all. become part of their lives in a way that you would never even have guessed so i guess when the story becomes a story worth telling that's when you know you know that you should write it i guess that's what i mean that's um, why kashmir why did you choose kashmir for your novel well okay this is this is going to sound ridiculous especially because you grew up there but um we it was actually originally based in london because the house that inspired it was in london but i don't really okay like london that much so i couldn't write about it with any passion or vibrance so then mom was the one who said you know maybe you should just set it in india but i was like okay but i need snow to be around the house at least one season of the year because that's the kind of house that it is and then she said okay set it in kashmir and i was like you know that's not a bad idea <laughs> you've been to kashmir that of course yeah yeah of course we used to go once every year because dad grew up there But I mean, I I don't doubt that it's very different for you having grown up in Kashmir than it is for me having grown up in Mumbai. Like one of the things I think would definitely be different is that the reason there are such like vivid descriptions in the book is because living in Kashmir, you're you're just surrounded by such beauty that I don't know if like because whenever I see anything that's mildly beautiful, naturally I'm like, oh my god. But you must just be like, yeah, you know. No, I'm not. I really miss it now. I miss it now. I certainly miss it. So that was, I think, one of the reasons why I I set it in Kashmir was because it was I don't know. It just kind of happened, and then suddenly when it was set in Kashmir, it had a whole new kind of vibrance and a whole new tint to it. So I mean, you know, I hope you don't read it and then you're like, well, that's nonsense. No. That doesn't happen. I mean, you've actually, you're actually the protagonist that I'm trying to portray in terms of how she's grown up. So, so I hope you enjoy it actually. <laughs> so, what is it actually like then, growing up as a 16-year-old in Kashmir? Because I'm writing from imagination and bits of research. I, I think I'm the wrong person to ask this question because you know I'm living in my own zone. I have no idea. My life is not being arrogant or something. My life is a little different from. what a 16 year old life should be like i never went out much i i mean i've heard stories from my father and how they tell us ki 
हम उस टाइम पे यहाँ जाते थे वहाँ जाते थे इवन आई टेल यू वन थिंग दिस दिस ह्यूज हिल विच इज राइट नेक्स्ट टू आर हाउस एंड आई नेवर बिन दर एंड आई बिन रोनी क्रिटिसाइज फॉर दैट अ कपल ऑफ टाइम्स कि क्या क्या बचपन है तुम्हारा सो आई आई रोली डोंट नो वट आई मीन ना हो सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड इज एज सिमिलर एज सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड यू मीट इन बॉम्बे और इन डेली और समवेयर एल्स सो इट इज नॉट अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस बट Uh, it could be that uh, to some extent they, they might, you might see a vast variety of uh, opinions and views they have uh, they have different stories to tell you they have their own uh, ideas about almost everything so i think except for apart from that ideology i don't think there is a vast difference or anything else you see okay and this is like a topic that people may think is may think is not serious but i'm being very serious about this I would like to raise a bit of awareness about the difficulties that come with having short hair <laughs> because it's not easy. And what did you say you were on the set one day, right? You told me I was on the set one day and this is uh, like we when we actually started shooting after my hair was cut and I was very excited oh wow I'm in a movie why don't people come up to me and take pictures with me. So so this 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 first experience of my first picture with this little kid comes to me and he's like ye to Amir Khan film mein hai na ए भैया मेरे साथ एक फोटो खिंचाओ ना टेकन फॉर टेन मिनट्स एंड आई टॉक टू एनी वन फॉर एन आवर आई मीन इट आई डेंट टॉक टू एनी वन आई सैट इन माई बैन लाइक आई एम नॉट कमिंग आउट ऑफ दिस प्लेस नो आई आई वेंट इन द लेडीज बाथरूम एंड आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग वॉश माई हैंड आई नॉट ट्राइंग गेट इन दिस स्क्रीमिंग गिट इन द कॉर्नर and the mother is just like can you please calm down so i'm not being with you i don't know what they were talking about and then the kid goes but mommy he is not even supposed to be in here and i was like excuse <laughs> you and so yeah it is it's it's way tougher than people think it is first of all all that i've seen you in long hair but you look really good okay thank you but at least yours is now now there's no mis- nobody mistakes you anymore for a guy right now that it has grown yeah fortunately it's been a year now Because I don't know, I don't want to grow it out though. Because then it'll be like that awkward length where it's like kind of an Indian style afro, but like it's weird and then racist. No, but <laughs> it's true. I don't know how that that's gonna work out. Um. So yeah, but also, oh yeah, I just remember I wanted to ask you this. You told me that you had a kitten. Yeah. And how do pets have it? You yeah have 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 have. Kitten. Okay, I take it back. Take it back. You have a kitten. How do pets help in the creative process? Because I know we have six dogs, and they are just—I mean, they're crazy, but they help sometimes. I don't know how they help in the creative process, but they really help you in. Uh, they build your emotions. I mean, they lift your mood. They really lift your mood. That's all I can say. Yeah, that's true. Like at the end of a long day, just to yeah. face for your mood a lot, especially when you don't have someone. What about me? Now that I know what am I? Now that I know you, but back in Kashmir, I don't really have friends to hang out. So I prefer staying back at home with my kitten. So I love. It. So I mean, you haven't thought of a name for your kitten yet, right? No, I haven't. Okay, so she's black, right? Yeah, she's black. So if we have any suggestions, okay. So okay, let me think. Wait, give me a. It'll come to me. Midnight's cliche, right? Midnight is very. It's too long. It's too long. It's too long. All of her. No, that's so weird. <laughs> that's that's a really bad idea. Why on earth? What? <laughs> no, please. Are you naming cats? By no, but I'm just saying. Why would you want to call it me? What? Day star. Day star. Day star. 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 Yeah, star is not bad. But she's black. Hold on. How's that gonna work? You racist. I'm not. It's black fur. What am I gonna do about that? Um, you know, I get that a lot. Your cat is so manmoose. That is the actual word they use. She's so scary. That's so mean. You're not racist. I'll never forgive you. Neither will my cat. <laughs> Message to all people that have hated on her cat. You know, she does not forgive, and she does not forget. Okay. Um. So just to end, I guess I would say, is there anybody who inspires you, like, or any, or just any, not even somebody that you know, some you don't know, an artist you admire. some you know anything really not sounding cheesy or anything but I'm really inspired ever since i've met you <laughs> we really do okay this was not planned this was not planned of course this i did not, not know she was going to say this <laughs> okay now what am i supposed to say 
now, yeah? You put me in such a tough position. Like, oh, I can't even articulate what I, the kind of respect and I, I was in awe of you when I met you. You don't so, say stuff like this. Now I have to respond properly. Be all politically correct. I understand. I understand. So okay, you, you, you get me. I'm just gonna give you positive okay, vibes. I've been there. I've been in this situation. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, okay, now how am I supposed to stop <laughs> that? Let's, let's Okay, now you ask me a question. What inspires you? I'm just getting whatever I'm asking. I don't know. Um. Okay, now I. Wait, you asked me that already. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Think of something random. So how long in total did it take you to make the film versus did it take me to write the book? Because mine took like one and a half to two years. So how long? I really don't know. For, see, there's like there's a difference in uh, writing and when you act. So I yeah. can only talk about my part. Yeah. Because I was not involved in the, the whole part. Yeah, the whole preparation or whatever. So I was only involved for eight months. I can only talk yeah. about my involvement in yeah. it. I was only involved for eight months. Yes, I know. I think it took them four years to write the script and execute everything. I really don't know. Okay, okay, but one question that I genuinely want to ask. Whenever I listen to myself on a video, I, I hear myself and I sound really squeaky. Does that happen to you when you're watching yourself on film? You I hate like, to watch myself on screen. Right? I hate it. Like, isn't that kind of annoying? It's annoying and it's so embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. I hate it. I never watch my interviews. I was scared to watch my film. Yeah, but you had to go, right? Because you can't be like, ah, you know. No, I can't watch it. I don't want to watch it. It's just too, too down In the first few hours I shot, my voice was dubbed. So oh. it was okay. But in the movie, I was like, ah, oh, now I have to watch myself for an hour. For just like, well, okay, I actually thought of a nice quote to wrap up on. So I'm going to wrap up on a nice note, which is that there's this, Really, I guess now that you, you ask what inspires me, I have a good answer for that now. There's a quote from a movie, Midnight in Paris, that my friend Anjali, who's sitting somewhere where I can't see, um, showed me, um, where um, Judy Dench says, um, we all fear death and question our place in the universe. The artist's job is not to succumb to despair, but to find an antidote for the emptiness of existence. So that's what inspires me.